His response was just the same. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's like he wasn't, he didn't know what I was saying. It's like he wasn't coherent. Like he, he wasn't all the way there. Um, um, I screamed for help and his sister came in the room eventually. She looked, she, she said, what happened? And I said, I don't know. Ask Brian. I'm trying to ask him. He won't let me know. He took them out of, basically I told her what happened. And, you know, um, at the time, Brian's sister's, uh, Brian's sister's boyfriend was there. And um, Chino, Brian, he saw him and he asked her, while well, me and her trying to help Samantha, why is he here? Didn't dad say you're not supposed to have him here? Didn't say, didn't, you're not supposed to have him here. He was basically worried about everything else but Samantha. I looked at him and I'm like, Chino, are you really worried about her boyfriend being here because he's black? But, be, or like, are you really worried about that because more than your daughter, your daughter looks like she's dying on the fucking bed. Like, and nothing, like, nothing, nothing added up. Nothing added up at all. And so, um... Nelly, which is his sister, ends up ask, telling um, me, or call the ambulance, telling us, call the ambulance. And I'm like, I don't know where my phone was. I had it last night. And then when I woke up the second time, it was gone. Unfortunately, Brian had took my phone. Um, so that makes me think, okay, well, when he took the kids down, he probably took my phone down with him. Um, I'm thinking he probably went through my phone or something and it triggered him um so we're asking him where are the phones where are the phones he didn't understand what we were saying um eventually we got nelly's uh, boyfriends to call the ambulance they came matter within seconds minutes um the ambulance came they took her away from us i didn't i i didn't get to see her it's like it's like ripping a band-aid off so fast like They took her away so quick. And then the um, officers came, the police came. There was like, um, there was like 15 cop cars in front of my house. And um, man, a lot of officers asked me the same question. What happened? What happened? What happened? And I get it. They probably wanted to understand the full story. They wanted to probably see if I changed my story up. They probably wanted to see if um, my story was consistent because a lot of times in these type of cases, sometimes it's the mom and the dad that does these things to their kids. So they really wanted to make sure that I had nothing or nothing to do with it. And of course, I would never do anything like that to be, I'm a parent, I love my kids, I would never do anything like that. So, you know, um, they interviewed me. Um. You can hear Chino across the room. They're trying to talk to him. And he's like, I'm a good father. Ask Jasmine. She's a bad girl. She was in and out of the mental hospital. Her family, her parents are bad people to her. She's not right in the head. She's been through so much. Basically trying to make it seem like he's the good one here. That I don't know why he had to say stuff like that. And then he looked at me, he's like, ask Jas Jasmine, um, Jasmine, I am I a good dad? Aren't, aren't I a good dad? And they're like, stop talking to her. And I started crying. I'm like, you are a good dad, but what happened, Brian? What happened? I'm screaming. I'm telling him what happened. And he looks at me and he starts crying. He looks at me. He says, I don't know. I don't know. But with tears, like, like, he, like, like, he's looking at me, like, I felt him looking through my soul, like, I believed him, like, I wanted to believe him. 
he just looked at me he cried while the officers are holding him back and he just I asked him Brian what happened and he just looks at me crying I don't know Jasmine I don't know and they took him away in handcuffs Genesis wakes up she starts crying I remember it was so cold that night I remember um, she was shivering. I was holding her. She like, I could hear her teeth like cl clenching together. It was so cold. And she had no idea what was going on. Brian's mom comes and I tell her what happened and I told her she said what happened to Samantha I looked at her I said I don't know and she looks at me and she says you know you know what happened to this day I don't really know what she meant by that, <laughs> you know? I don't know if she thought that maybe I had something to do with it. I don't know. But of course, that's her son. She's going to protect him. She's, it's her son. Um, I asked her to take care of Genesis while I Um, while the officers take me to the hospital to see Samantha. So they take me to the um, hospital to see Samantha. And I'm waiting in a waiting room. And um, I'm meeting with this um, officer. She, it was a female. She had blonde hair. And she's like, everything's going to be okay. And I looked at her. I'm like, do you have kids? And she's like, no. And I looked at her, I smiled. I was like, okay. So you really don't know if it's going to be okay. I called my mom and I, I call her crying. I'm telling her, mom, please get up. Come here right now. This is what happened. I don't know what's happening with Samantha. I don't know what's going to happen. But I told her the story and she starts crying, screaming. And she's like, I'm on my way. A doctor comes in. A doctor comes in and um, I honestly don't remember if it was a girl or if it was a guy. There was so much to that night, like so much. I kind of like forgot some details because of the most tragic things that happened like that were so memorable, defeated everything else. So they says, Jasmine, <clears throat> we need you to say goodbye to Samantha. We need you to give her a hug and kiss her and tell her everything's going to be okay. Do you not know how that feels? Giving birth to somebody? And then having to find out the doctors telling you to say goodbye to them. Can you imagine bringing somebody into this world and two months later say goodbye? I 
I screamed and I fell. I fell. The doctors were like, the nurses came in. And they all prayed. <laughs> they all prayed like if God was gonna fucking help. Like, if God was gonna fucking fix this. I get up. And I go see her. And my baby. <laughs> she has like a, a white bandage around her head. She has tubes. She has tubes going down her mouth and up her nose. And all she was was like connected to cords, like heart monitors. She was just in a white, in a, a white diaper. That's it. <laughs> And I could see her just like moving up and down like super fast. Like, like if you're like having an anxiety attack, you could see her like, it like she, it looked like she was in so much pain, and she was not calm. I kissed her and I didn't want to touch her. I didn't want to like hurt her. They told her you need to hug her. So I did. She was so stiff. I didn't understand why she was so stiff. I didn't understand exactly at that time what exactly happened to her. I didn't. We not, nobody knew what happened. Um, I had to leave. They told me to leave. Um, I couldn't see my kids after that. You know, DC, DCFS was involved. Um, so I couldn't see them after that. It's like... They wanted to continue to see if I was a good mom, to see if I was sober. It's like getting clean, going to rehabbing, going to rehab, and getting being so happy that you you did something, that you accomplished something, and then this something really bad happens to you, and then you get your kids taken away for something you fixed, and then you fall back into the same cycle. People understand why, why I couldn't get clean, why I couldn't stay clean. And I don't expect anybody to understand. But the ones who do, let me know. The next day, um, I had to go to the police station and the detectives were giving me an interview. I basically told them exactly what I told the cops the day before and I was drawing how I saw Samantha and um, Genesis on the bed. I was drawing it on a piece of paper, basically just kind of showing them where I walked in the room, where I sat on the bed. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to tell you, well, we, we interviewed Brian this morning. Um, we're going to tell you what he said. And I was also surprised. And they're like, oh, we asked, we interviewed him. Um, we waited until he got sober to see if he remembers anything or anything. And I'm like, okay, before you ask me or before you tell me, um, 
what he said in the interview. Can I ask you something? And my detective, badass detective, bad as fuck. She goes, uh, I go, was this, um, was this an accident or was this intentional? She looks at me, she says, Jasmine, this was no accident. Your daughter has six injuries to the brain, blunt force trauma to her head. She has baby shaking syndrome. And a big bruise to her chest. Your daughter's not moving. She's stable. But she is not moving. She's peeing, she's pooping. We're feeding her through a tube, but she's, she cannot move. And I cried, I cried, I cried. Uh, they interviewed Brian and um, <sighs> he kept saying I'm a good dad. I don't know what happened. I don't remember what happened. Uh, I think uh, I, I could have kicked her. Um, Maybe I stomped on her. Maybe I stomped on her. Maybe that was it. I stomped on her, kicked her or something. But all I know is I didn't use my hands. And the detective say, uh, well, how do you not remember using your hand, uh, uh, using your feet? No, how do you not know you didn't use your hands, but you don't remember what happened? But you remember not using your hands. Hmm. He said, uh, maybe my dog did it. And they're like, hmm. Well, wouldn't you think there would be bite marks or scratches on her? Or wouldn't you think she would have, he would have, you know, troubles about your dog? Wouldn't you think she would have attacked its genesis as well? He said, you're right, uh, hmm. Maybe it was Genesis. And they looked at him and they're like, Brian, you think your two-year-old daughter did this to your, um, your youngest daughter? And they're like, it's impossible. <laughs> I didn't get to see, um, when I went in court, I didn't really get to see the video of him, um, them interviewing him because they subpoenaed me, something like that. So I wasn't allowed to be in the courtroom at all while everything was happening. They took that away from me. They took my closure away from me. His lawyers took that away from me. I know that I feel like it's my fault because I cheated. But I still don't have closure. I still don't know why he did it. That's what happened. Um, if you guys want to have me do a part three about um, what happened at court, um, what his lawyers were saying, what my lawyers were saying, um, what the judges were saying, um, what the officers were saying that night, um, what the doctors were saying that night, um, and what could possibly have he done, what he had done to her. 
and what they think that he'd done because we still don't know what he did. He can't remember what he did. We don't know what he did. For all we know, she could he could have picked her up, dropped her on the floor, banged her a couple times. Yeah. And you know the thing that gets me, a lot of people say, like, you were in the house, why didn't you hear your baby cry? I was upstairs when this happened, and she was downstairs when he did this to her. Reminding you, his sister was downstairs across the house from his from the room it happened. Wouldn't she was closer, way closer than... I was. Why didn't she hear the baby crying when this happened? But I was supposed to hear it. But I, I'm an addict and I was drinking. So it somebody has to be at fault there, right? So I get blamed for it. You know, I get blamed for not waking up on time or something. Um, that's it. I don't know what else to say. If you guys want a part three, please let me know. I really, really hope you guys get closure from this. Because I, I still don't even have my closure yet. He was found guilty. Our next court date will be the 31st of this month. And um, we find out how long um, he will get. His maximum is 30. So we get to see how long he gets. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. And I hope you guys like this video. It, it's really hard for me to talk about, so... Yeah, bye.